We've got new information tonight out of Hawaii, where the county of Maui has released an updated list of those that are still unaccounted for there after the wildfires. 388 names are listed. It's down significantly from the last estimate of 1,100. Officials have confirmed 115 people have died. And as Ben Tracy reports for the first time, a child has been identified among the victims. Off the coast of Lahaina, Navy divers are searching a four-mile stretch of coastline, looking for those who may have drowned as they desperately tried to flee the fire by jumping into the ocean. They are uh, meticulously doing the same thing in the water that we're doing on land. Mike Pruitt is part of FEMA's search team. After more than two weeks, they are now combing through the last of the destroyed buildings. Why is it taking so long to get through the entire town? It takes inch by inch. We see the photos of those missing that people are posting. And when you see those faces, it drives our team to even get back here and get to work as quick as they can. For the first time, police have identified a child killed in the fire, seven-year-old Tony Takafua. The family says he and his mother tried to escape the flames and were found in a burnt out car. We're still collecting information and reports. Steve Merrill is the FBI's special agent in charge in Honolulu. What is the biggest challenge you're facing? We're finding that a lot of the information we received uh, through nobody's fault uh, is incomplete and sometimes ambiguous. The FBI has been compiling the just released verified list of the 388 people still unaccounted for. Hopefully the public will come forward, see someone on the list, maybe themselves even, and report in that they are safe and sound or provide more information to help us find and account for those people. And Maui County is now blaming Hawaiian Electric for starting the fire, alleging in a lawsuit that the utility acted negligently by failing to power down their electrical equipment during high winds. In response, Hawaiian Electric says it's very disappointed that Maui County chose this litigious path while the investigation is still unfolding. Now, in its lawsuit, Maui County alleges that Hawaiian Electric's down power lines ignited grass and dry brush in the area, and that's what started the fires. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Maui.